What is up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. It is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to all you Christians out there that celebrate. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update. I have still been trading. I actually started with $5,000 in one account. Um, I, sw I transferred over most of it uh, after I made about 2000 and now I've got about 74, roughly 100 in the uh, one account, and then about 2100 in the other account. So I've almost doubled it um, since I started trading with that 5K. So it's taken about, I have to double check, maybe around two months, plus or minus two weeks. I'm not quite sure if it's been like a month and a half or two and a half months, uh, to be honest, just because I stopped tracking it. I wanted to focus mostly on the trades now rather than just the profits. Um, and so I've, I've been trying to be picky and be very consistent with what I'm trading. Um, puts have been killing it, uh, especially with the market selling off like crazy. I have been trading VXX though, and I've been buying puts in VXX. So VXX usually goes up when the market goes down and vice versa. And so I've been making some uh, money on that as it, uh, as I feel like the Dow finds some good support levels and kind of bounces off of those, but it has been trending up, um, and I ended up getting in, I ended up making about 160 bucks today, about 800 plus yesterday. And I'm sorry, <laughs> today's Monday, Friday, I made it about 800 bucks. And then Thursday I made around 600. And so I've been killing it. Like honestly, with a small account, I made uh, like 10%, uh, just for that account itself, about 10% and then 12% uh, Thursday and then Friday. And then today was like 2% with 160 bucks. But I ended up getting back into VXX with this account. And I ended up buying even more right before the close. And then on top of that, I bought a $50 strike um, in my other account that has 2100 in it, uh, as well as I ended up buying um, Activision. And then in my retirement account, I ended up buying Monster. Um, and actually in my the one that has 2100 in it, I ended up buying Activision and I believe it was Facebook that are in both of those accounts, as well as VXX. So I've got those three in those accounts. Looking to kind of swing trade those a little bit, honestly. Um, and then the, well, VXX is going to expire next week or at the end of this week, shoot. So I've, I've got to get rid of that quick. But uh, um, yeah, just been trading those and then uh, just trying to take some longer positions. Market's been selling off and I know this might just be the beginning, so it might be a little bit dangerous, but I feel like it's at a pretty good sale right now. So, uh, I mean, obviously if it gets more oversold, then I'll keep making money with my other account, maybe invest 2000 into uh, um, the account that has 2100 and kind of just use that as like a longer term trade because that's what I was doing um, and it was making pretty good money. Obviously the market was uptrending a lot more than it is now um, being that we're almost in a bear, actually we're in a bear market right now. Um, past the correction phase, kind of getting into a recessionary phase. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if it finds any sort of support before going into the recession. I'm hoping it kind of bounces at some of these levels. Um, Dow is down 5,000 points from its highs. I think it was like almost 27,000. It was like 26,800, I believe, at one point. And now it's at like 21,800. So about 5,000 point swing right there. Um, just within the last few months, I guess. I can't remember where it peaked out, what month it was. Maybe like October, November time frame. Oh, I feel like October sold off pretty good. Maybe before that, September. I'm not quite sure, but... Yeah, it's been selling off like crazy. Activision dropped down to like $45 and it was at like 80 or 78, $80. So almost in half. And I mean, the market's just barely starting to turn down. Um, I guess, like I said, over the last couple weeks slash few months, um, it's been uh, kind of peeling over, but it's crazy. Like maybe Activision will go down to 25% of what it was worth um, from its highs, which would be crazy. I should probably look into that a little bit more. I ended up buying Monster as well. I feel pretty confident with Monster as far as the fundamentals and everything like that. So um, I'm, I'm good holding on to that one, Activision. Uh, I mean, it's got a lot of research and development. I'm sure a lot of costs trying to pay the people that actually develop these games and stuff. But And the price of games haven't really gone up. I mean, 60 bucks for a video game. It's been that way since I was a kid. So... Um, I don't know what they're going to do, but I guess downloadable content's become a huge thing. So I guess, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Keep the games the same, um, add less features to it, but then make it more downloadable content that you can pay for later. I don't know how that's working for them, but hey, I mean, if their stock killed it, 
uh, the last years that they were recovering from their session, then maybe it'll be a good trade. And then Facebook, I feel like Facebook's always going to be a good investment when it's way oversold like this. It's at like 120, I got in at a, I think it was $125 and, um, it was at like 220, not too long ago. So, I mean, obviously that money's got to go somewhere, right? So it's going to go back into investments later on, whether it's cryptocurrencies, whether it's back into those investments and it's just sitting on the side right now, whether it's gold, real estate, something. I think people are probably just taking a cash position, but I feel like it's been pretty oversold. So I might just swing swing it, uh, depending on what the Dow does. Obviously, if it shows a sign of resistance, which I'm sure it will, uh, just with the trend, um, they'll probably sell after it bounces a little bit. And then, uh, obviously, if I can get in cheaper, get in cheaper, right? But um, uh, Activision, I, I think Facebook actually might. I'm not sure. But I know Monster does pay a dividend. And uh, Activision, I might have got that backwards. Activision doesn't. I might have, I swear, I might have got that backwards. I think Activision might, actually. So anyways, um, I am going to start buying longer term as well. I was thinking about doing calls, um, but I just honestly don't know how to trade calls long. Um, there's a lot of money to be made, especially if the market bounces or like if the stock goes up quickly. Um, but I feel like, you have to, I don't know, get good at determining how long it's going to take to get there and what strike to choose. It's just easier for me because I've been trading it and it's a lot cheaper, like a lot cheaper to trade, um, like day trade because they're pennies on the dollars or just a few dollars. Whereas if you're buying months to years in advance, then it's, um, it's a lot more expensive. So I'm going to get into that a little bit uh, as the market continues to sell off. I'll probably start doing some research on uh, how to buy some calls just because obviously the profit potential is so huge with options, right? Um, and uh, I obviously think that the stocks are going to recover, right, um, as they always do. But it just depends on where the bottom's at and how long it takes to get back up there. So last recession, I believe it took like six months to a year for it to really hit and then it started to re recover after that and then obviously took off and uh, started to climb back up. So um, I'd say, I don't know, I feel like now it's getting pretty into it. So maybe by end of year, next year, we should probably see the bottom. That was a weird probably, sorry. Uh, probably see the bottom, maybe, I don't know. I'm just kind of speculating as far as like length of time, um, if not mid-year next year. Um, just to see it really hit. They say 2019 is actually going to be really good, so I don't know. Maybe it's going to be the complete opposite. Maybe this is just a, um, uh, what's it called, consolidation phase uh, period, uh, just a small pullback on the markets. But, I mean, it is downtrending. It hit a low, um, the first sell-off at the beginning of this year, and then it came back and made another high and then dropped back down and made another low. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's all over the place, but the most we can do is take advantage of it and uh, trade options. So that's what I'm looking at doing still day trading. Um, last I checked with the $160 that I was up right now, I'm at unrealized losses with all of the <laughs> trades that I'm holding overnight. Um, but those are more swing trades more than anything. Um, but with that $160 that I made this morning, um, I I'm right at about 91.2% if I remember correctly as far as how much money I've made off of that 5,000. So I've almost doubled it um, within a short period of time. So if I can keep that up, then I should be able to double my profit um, and then be back at six figures by next year. So anyways, guys, wish me luck. And once again, Merry Christmas.